Well, it's like this, people. If they're anti-American, they've got no business being here. Period. Now, this is a warning on the content of this, so I'm not going to get too dwell too much into it. You guys have to go read it yourself. All the grooming, pornography, and filth in the classrooms goes back to Obama. Obama's safe school czar was promoting it, warning on content. Well, this also started back to when the Clintons were in there. Same crap. Okay, um, some people think it's just a noble cause, spreading this filth around. I do not. Now, when did this all start? When it was introduced and promoted in public schools. There you go. It was Barack Obama who first pushed teaching sex education to kindergartners back in 2007. He even pushed sex ed, pushed sex ed to kiddies legislation. You know, the rainbow um, president, ex-president, shining rainbow lights on the White House. I mean, yeah, in 2007, you, uh, Barack Obama gave a speech to Planned Parenthood. We pushed teaching sex education to his little to little kindergartners. But the media hid that mostly from the American public. And Barack Obama was serious. He said he wanted to fundamentally change America. And he did. Remember that, children. Remember that. He's the same stooge that's running the White House right now. Everybody knows it. They just don't want to say it. So, get back up here. Like I said, I'll put a link to this. You need to know what's going on. How can you judge anything unless you know? Our newspapers anymore are not the newspapers we had back in 1776. Most of these people nowadays that are on these news things, they're not Americans because they're not speaking the truth. They're there for the money. And they don't care what they have to do it. It's like... Uh, uh, guy that portrayed, uh, betrayed Jesus, Julius Escart, you know, for so many pieces of silver. And that's what you're getting. If they can't speak with the truth, do away with the media. Thanks for watching, people. I'll put a link. You really need to see this. It's called the downfall of America, I'm telling you.